Hi there, if you want to really do something, then you have to think very seriously. And that thought is known as reaffirmation or auto-suggestion. Means your mind should be fully saturated with that thought. And what is the ultimate goal of life? To be free from worries, anxieties, fright, disturbance, depression, disappointment, discouragement, adversities, difficulties, they are all coming because of our evil thinking. An impure mind, saturated with greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynical thoughts, will bring nothing but only misery, sorrow, suffering and grief, because as you sow, so you shall reap. The absolute and undeviating law of cause and effect will always come into action. It will never run. The law of compensation will also come into action. The law of karma will come into action. So if you want to be living a very serene, calm, joyful, happy life, you have to always plant the seed of noble thoughts in your mind and that is basically truth, justice, peace, love, non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, cooperation, affection, always. Thinking good of all, finding good and all, and being good with all. That's the goal of this Fakir Yogi, Vendri Yogi, because I don't want to torture myself, my friends. So I have to seek the noble way, the really wonderful way, which really leads us to what I have described to you. A very comfortable journey, journey of life, starting from zero to maybe one zero zero one century life, hundred years of life. If you are pure, pious, if you are kind, and if your mind is free from every negativity, there is no chance that you cannot live more than hundred years. This is Fakir Yogi Vendri Yogi, a profound mastery in yogic way of living life, absolutely controlling your mind, because the drifting mind is really a source of evils, your mind is the best friend and your mind is the best enemy. If your mind is not controlled and directed towards a specific goal in life, it will derail and it will lead you to destruction. Wholesale destructions and every evils will dominate your mind. Mind does not know right and wrong. It is just like a land. A land does not know right and wrong. Whatever seed of thought we plant, the mind is going to give birth, sprouting, growing saplings and the big trees. So it is our responsibility, particularly myself, always see that I should never do anything wrong and I love all, respect all. And not only I can find my happiness to myself, the whole earth is my family. Every creature is just like me and having similar feelings. So. I have to love everyone, care for everyone, so I follow a noble path. There was one great poet from Gujarat. He composed a wonderful poem, Vaishnav Jan, and I am very much fond of it. Even my best friend Mohandas Kramchand Gandhi loved it and liked it. And he used to recite and learn it and contemplate and meditate over it, reaffirm it, auto-suggested it, so that this become deeply grouped in his mind. And this saying, a Vaishnav Jan. A man who is really very pure and pious with his thoughts and he says he has feelings for the sorrow and suffering and grief for pain. He always helps a man who is in deep trouble and he never feel any vanity or any kind of proud while he is serving and helping. He appreciates everyone. He never criticizes everyone. He never backbites anyone. He is a wonderful person because Sahaj Lokma Sahune Bandi, Ninda Nakare Kaniri. He always appreciates everyone and he always wish all to be very good and great. Dear friend, Samdarsi, he has same views about everyone. In his mind, there is no discrimination between caste, creed, race, religion, country. All are equal to him, all are souls. He has similar feelings with everyone. 
Samdesi, Netishna Tyagi, and he is away from all mirrors and illusion and confusion because he has vipassana, clarity of vision like Buddha. Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, clear vision. He sees everything very clearly. There is no illusion, there is no confusion. He has got the wisdom eyes so they can really focus on the truth and then he is really away from all kind of sorrow, suffering and grief which is because of illusion. And he never gets his mind polluted by seeing others' women. Of course, nature has given every man a woman. He can gratify and satisfy whatever he wants because this is the greatest natural gift of sex satisfaction, gratification. But he has to confine to his own person, not he has to really try to divert his attention because that is not permitted by the society. So, Sahaja Lok Ma Sahune Bande. Then, Sam Dishi Ne Tishna Tyagi Parishtri Jani Matre. Jeevatha Kya Satne Bole Pardhan Naudale Hatle. He is a guy. He is a guy. Sam Dishti Ne Tishna Tyagi Parishtri Jani Matre. Jeevatha Kya Satne Bole Pardhan Naudale Hatle. He never lies. Even his tongue is tired. Even his mind is totally disturbed. He never lies. And he never steals anything. This is the yogic way of living life. Mohamaya Vyapenengi Dirvaragji ni Manamare. There is no unnecessary attachment to money, to women, to wine, and all these evils. Mohamaya Vyapenengi Dirvaragji ni Manamare. He is absolutely detached from all the evils because he has absolute control on his mind, the drifting mind, Yoga Chitvarti Nirodha. He has control and directed his mind towards a specific goal in life and never derails his mind towards evils and nonsense. Ram Nam Sutani Lagi Sakal Tiratin Tanmare. Ram Nam means action, action with belief and faith towards attaining your goal. Ram Nam Sutani Lagi. And he is not a fool who is looking for greatness here and there everywhere, like a deer. It has custody in his own navel point, but it searches every year. As a fire is between the two colliding rocks, similarly, we have the fire within ourselves. The energy, the intelligence, the wisdom, and everything with us. We should not run here and there to see greatness. It will be just like a fish out of water. We have water that is our intelligence, our mind power. We should discover our intelligence and use our intelligence for attaining the absolute success in life, goals of life. Dear friends, one low be, he never greedy, he discard all greeds. One low be, the kapat he is not a very contradicting man with his thought, word and action. No kapati, thought, word and action, he is one like me and you if you are great. One law is the kapatiraiche, kama krodh nivarare, kama, means the lust, unnecessarily too much desire for sexual relations, that is dangerous, that is something bestial, dark. One law is the kapatiraiche, kama krodh, anger, anger is like a fire which we are holding in our hand and we thinking other we burn. Never be angry, never be angry, man. And if anybody is falling, this kind of principle in life is the most best one. Now I invite my best friend to really tell you in her Oh,
Thank you very much viewers.